That's my intro. Guys, let me talk to you real quick, real quick. So getting you guys a heads up, starting next week, every Tuesday at UT, UTC 2200, I'll be going live. I'll be going live, which is 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be going live, and my focus will be dealing with the server maintenance. Every Tuesday, they release a server, a server maintenance update to the game and i'll be covering that server maintenance for those of you who never read the maintenance and just want to hear what the gist of it is i'll be focusing mostly on the new features and optimization once in a blue moon i'll be going over the bug fixes if the bug fix is something that's a very of a high relevancy such as in this update um, they fixed the issue that some buffs in the battle report of purgatory battlefield were not displaying normally inside the battle reports the um the, the 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 buffs weren't displayed normally. Some type of problem they were having. If it's something big like that, something we all were experiencing, and something that everyone has a lot of concern with, I'll be dealing with. I'll read the other bugs here real quick. Fix the issue that the unscrupulous material suppliers did not appear on the world map after the Lions Market event started. Fix the issue that the Beast Tear Up report was incorrectly shared to the world chat when sharing it to the Alliance chat. Fix the issue that the difficulty was displayed incorrectly in the Dark Dungeon ranking when the game language was sent to Russian. Um, so uh, for the most part, I will not be reading the bugs. It was only a small amount here, so I just went over those. Sometimes there's a long list of bugs. The focus will be on new features. And this week's new feature is just to add the new heroes to the trials. Um, after the update, hero trials will be available for the following heroes, three of them. It's going to be Slash, Vicky, Yelena. Um, as far as Slash, I am not excited about him being added to the trials. Eventually, they were going to have to add him. But there are a host of heroes that are more deserving to be added. Slash is one of those heroes along with Layla in which you have to spend money. I mean, you can get some shards, but in order to get the shards you need at a quick pace, you have to spend money and a lot of money to get the shards during some certain events. That, that drop down where they allow you to be able to get the shards. They are very, very difficult to get. And not only that, but like Layla, you they, can, they do not take any generic shards. At least with Layla, I mean, excuse me, uh, with with um, Lilith, at least with, not I said Layla, but uh, at least with Lilith, Lilith, you can purchase her shards and uh, the VIP under Supreme Offer for a thousand a thousand gems a piece so at least you could do that with her you can't do that with slash you cannot do that with layla and it's very difficult to get those shards even though my layla is almost complete and i already have her awakened i can't use any extra shards to increase her her inside her um decreased her new jewelry her, the, her she has the claws i believe it is oh wow oh let me quit she has the claws, her her Layla bladed claws. I can't I can't increase the, the awakening ability once getting those because I need the shards, every shard I get to finish doing her first her first um uh uh, uh skill. To do her first skill. Uh, I still got 87 more to go before I can get it to a level nine. I did another 120 to get it to a 10 before I can even start investing shards into the the awaken part of it, and you no, know, she doesn't take she doesn't take generic shards. This is the same thing with Slash. Slash does not take generic shards. You have to wait for an event just to get any shards for him, and then you know you're gonna want to use those shards on though know, his his skills that he has before even trying to give it to his awaken ability. You're gonna want to use the shards here. So you know you know using Slash when it's he's literally was one of the last three heroes. To drop, uh, I believe he was, it was Minsky, then Slash, and of course, uh, uh, um, Shade. You know, the last heroes to drop. And, um, you know, trying to give it, send him the trial when there's 
so other people here. I mean, like, I, I take even Freya. I mean, you're already doing a driver hero with Yelena. You know what I mean? At least with Freya, you're allowed to be able to get generic shards. You know, to, to be able to upgrade it. Anyone who you can use generic shards with are those who they should be focusing mostly on the trials. When they're focusing on the people who you can't even use generic shards, it's going to take you forever and a day to be able to upgrade them. I am excited about Vicky. I'm excited about Vicky. I don't know how many Vicky shards I have in my overflow. I'm excited to see. I can't wait. Um, I'm so happy that they are released in her trials. And Yelena, I'm not mad about. You know, I'm not finished Yelena either. She isn't a priority for me as a driving hero. But I'm not mad about her. I'm not mad about her. But I'm excited about Vicky. And Slash, I think, is just not a good idea. He did that with Layla in the first, the first one, the, the first batch that they released. Either the first batch or the second batch that they released. They released Layla with him. And I, I thought it was just, a, just a, not a good idea. That's what the hero trial. When it comes to optimization, they optimize the hunting time. Which they change the requirements of attaining the personal rewards. After the update, the requirement will be changed to the number of times you have participated in killing reapers. They optimized the description of avatar frames, which added source information of some avatar frames that lacked source description previously. That's not too big of importance. Optimize the alliance information to avoid repeatedly displaying related messages and the alliance information because builders are repeatedly occupied during events. Some battle information in Crystal Battle, Lost Land, and Purgatory battlefields will no longer be displayed in alliance information. That's no big deal. Optimize the battle report. Um, optimize the content and battle report to make them easier to understand. I am very interested in seeing what they mean by that. I know a lot of people wanted to get a, a, a more detailed breakdown of what troops are killing what. You know what I mean? So it I hope it will increase. Uh, it will change the way people attack. I don't know if that's what they're going to do. That will be wonderful. Um, and optimize the achievement display. Unify the numbers displayed in the achievement tasks and progress with bars in the achievement system. Okay, so that's not too much of a big deal. Just wanted to get a guys a quick video out on the server maintenance. Server maintenance will be going will be will happen um on, on tomorrow, which is Thursday. It'll be the seventh. It normally happens uh, early morning for me, like around four or five o'clock. That's when I wake up in the morning, four or five AM. That's normally when it happens for me, and I'm on Eastern Standard Time. So that's it for today. Just wanted to get this video out. I have a lot of big content coming out this weekend. I know I let you guys down in the past, but trust me, I'm about to turn up. You guys enjoy your day. Like, comment, rate, subscribe.